Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love Tarot. Today I'm going to do a love reading for Cancer. This is going to be for May. Please remember the timing is flexible. This is a general reading. If you'd like something more specific, my information is in the description box. This will be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You can check out my video playlists um, for my monthly readings for other signs. And then I also have some timeless readings in there as well. There may be messages for you, so feel free to check those out. Uh, the first, if you're new to my channel, the first half is the tarot. The second half is the oracle cards, which I have three stacks here with three angels. So you'll pick one of the angels, the one that you're most drawn to, and those will be the messages for you. So the first stack is the baby angel, and I have it paired with um, my amethyst bracelet that I just started selling, the angel love bracelet with the heart and the wing. The wing um, signifying your angels are always around you, loving and protecting you. This has a lot of healing energy. I also energy charge these with Reiki for healing and also to um, magnifying the healing properties in the stone. So feel free to check these out on my website at IamAngelLove.com. The information is in the description box. The second stack is the Masculine Angel and I paired it with my Howlite bracelet. Um, same thing with the angel wing and the heart. This one does have a lava stone, so you can put your favorite essential oil on it um, for healing or just to have your the scent all day long. Um, a lot of great healing properties and also energy, energy charged with Reiki. I'm a Reiki healer. And so that is the second uh, stack. And again, that's at IamAngelLove.com and the information's in the description box. And then the third angel is the feminine angel. So think which angel or bracelet, whatever draws your attention, and then that stack is for you. Okay, so let's get started. I tried to say that really quickly. I did it in a little over two minutes. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. Please tell us what does Cancer need to know regarding love for me? What does Cancer need to know? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. Let's get three cards, please. What does Cancer need to know regarding love? There we go. Let's get one more card, please. What does Cancer need to know regarding love for me? Drop those. Okay. All right. So I feel here, Cancer, you're in a good place here with the Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like you're just, I just feel like you have this beautiful energy about you. I feel you're in a good place, feeling self-sufficient, feeling independent. Um, I feel even finances are feeling good for you. Okay, so I'm really feeling too like you're attracting a lot into your life right now. Um, you know, remember roles can be reversed here. So um, with the Nine of Pentacles, this could be Earth energy in your life, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. If this is not you or resonating, that this is you. But I just feel this beautiful. When I look at this card and I feel the energy, I just feel like you're in a really good place. I see here too, I feel here... Um, there's someone in your life here with the page of wands that's very kind very empathetic um, i feel like this is a very creative person too who has um, a very youthful energy about them and they, or they may be younger than you but i feel here um, if this is somebody you already know in your life i feel here they're going to reach out to you i feel like you might receive a message from them or they may be traveling uh, to you or vice versa you to them because the next card that we have is the knight of pentacles so i feel here again i feel a message coming or an offer coming um in this could be earth energy capricorn taurus or virgo and um i i forgot to mention with the page of wands this can be fire energy aries leo or sagittarius 
So definitely feel here, um, somebody's gonna be reaching out to you or making some type of offer, okay? Let's move on with the second dot. See what other messages come through. Let's get one more shuffle, we'll cut the cards. And I apologize if you can hear my dog barking. She likes to greet everybody by barking. All right, thank you angels and spirit guides for your guidance. Give us two more cards, please. What does Cancer need to know for love for May? Please give me two cards, or give the audience two cards, please. What do they need to know for love? All right, I feel good things coming for Cancer. Let's get two more cards, please. Two more cards. More cards for cancer. There's one. One. Oh, a couple more. Okay. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So, I told you that I felt this beautiful energy here with the Nine of Pentacles. I felt even financially you're doing very well. And what do we have here? The Ace of Wands, this beautiful ruby at the top. This can signify coming into some money and an inheritance. Um, a, a very, um, you know, some financial gifts or abundance coming your way. Okay, so this is, this is something new, um, I feel, is coming in for you. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune, beautiful card here. So I feel here um, with this page of wands, I feel like this is the, the, you know, I feel like something is closing, but at the same time, I feel like something, doors are opening for you here, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune, and this is about good things coming as well. And I feel here it has to do with money. Now, interesting enough, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like you're gonna, you're gonna hear from somebody. I feel like this is somebody here with the Five of Cups that may um, have made you sad in the past or somehow betrayed you here with the Five of Swords. So I feel like there could be two people in your life for some of you or you're going to resonate with one or the other. So I feel here there is someone with this youthful energy. This might be somebody new or somebody new coming in for you. I feel like there is somebody else from the past um, that you may hear from that really made you sad in the past, okay? Or somehow betrayed you. Interesting. Okay, let's keep going. I don't know, Cancer, you just have that magnetism that you attract. More than one suitor, I guess you could say. All right, let's keep going. Thank you, angels, for your guidance. They always come back, though, right? And they, they always seem to come back. Okay. All right. Okay, yeah, so Page of Pentacles. Um, yeah, some offer is coming your way. Some of you maybe I'm feeling here too could be job offer. Okay, but I do feel like you're going to be coming into um, some money here. With the Wheel of Fortune, um, you know, I said I feel like something's closing out here with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so there may have been some conflict in the past that you had with someone. Okay, so there may have been some arguments or harsh words here um, where really you didn't get anywhere with this person, okay? For some of you, this may be a divorce, okay? You may have um, gone through a divorce and now um, the newness is beginning and here we have the Empress. So I feel like you've gone through some of these challenging times um, and I feel here you've come out a new person here as the Empress energy. I feel 
Um, I said it in the beginning, first card out. I just feel this beautiful energy here. I feel you're well-rounded. I feel you're manifesting this newness in your life. And you got abundance coming in. So I feel this is a good reading. I just feel like there might be some residual left um, from the past, okay? Somebody from the past that may betrayed you. Um, or had you in a place where you were, you know, they made you feel sad or depressed. But I feel like you've moved on, you know, with the five of swords, sometimes I see this, you're not, you're really not the winner because you had to go through a lot, but you survived, like this is you survived the battle. And I feel here, um, that you came out a winner. Okay. Cause you came out as the empress. And remember, it's not about the energy. It's about, I mean, it is about the energy. It's not about male or female, but it's about the energy. I said that backwards there. Okay, so we're going to move on to the Oracle cards. The first um, stack is the Baby Angel, which was with the Amethyst Bracelet. Okay. The first card out is from the Romance Angels. It says, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love yourself first. Yes, beautiful card there. I actually feel a lot of you are either working towards that or you're already there because you come out as the Empress, okay? And the Empress loves herself, okay? That Empress is not going to let anyone take advantage of her. She's going to set her boundaries. She's going to love herself and she's going to do what makes her feel good. Okay. Next card from your angel answers is remain positive. So I feel here your angels are saying remain positive. Good things are coming from what I'm seeing in this reading, seeing some abundance, new doors opening, um, so, and I feel, you know, somebody genuine is, is either in your life or coming into your life. So I feel here your angels are saying remain positive because good things are coming. Now, the next card that came out um, is from the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. Okay. And the card is called Release. And before I get into the meeting, I felt a message coming through. Um, I, and I'm trying to get it back, but I feel what it is. I feel some of you are doubting yourselves. Okay. So I feel here, some of you are doubting yourselves and this card is about listening to your inner wisdom. Okay. You may need to have some quiet time. You may need to, um, meditate. Um, you may need to sit and listen to your own thoughts away from any chaos. Um, because I feel here, this is about you letting your inner wisdom guide you, okay, and um, releasing, okay, some of the, maybe the baggage you've accumulated, this is also about healing as well, okay, and, uh, and right on point here, because the next card that we have is from the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards, it's called the Butterfly Maiden, and it's the Transformation card, you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. And yes, I see that in this reading. Okay, Empress card. That's, you're transforming into this beautiful Empress, being able to manifest all the things that you want. And second part brings great blessings. You have the Ace of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So yes, very on point here. Very nice card there. And huh, this one goes along with your release card. So the message, last message I pulled is from Archangel Michael. And his message for you is called, Let Go of Fear Now. And it says... Archangel Michael says that fear is the only thing interfering with your happiness and plans. He wants to show you how to release any worry or dread. Release. We just talked about release. Release any worry or dread so you can feel safe and secure. 
This card indicates that you're ready to let go of control issues and trust that everything ultimately works out for the best. And again, remain positive. And possible specific meanings, you're going in the right direction. You deserve all that is good just as all we do, just as we all do. Allow yourself to receive love, support, and abundance. You are lovable. And the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is, Archangel Michael, please help me to feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. So, wow, very on point there. Releasing, releasing heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. That goes along, too, with this release card. Beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. Again, you can check out my bracelets on IamAngelette.com. And we're going to move to the Masculine Angel, which was the Howlite bracelet. And let's see what we got here. Okay, so the first card that came out from the Romance Angel is there's a strong magnetic attraction here, chemistry. Okay, so I said I felt here there's either somebody already in your life or somebody new coming in your life, but definitely um, this person is feeling the chemistry and I'm sure you are as well. Okay, and if this person hasn't come in, you are going to know definitely that this is the, this new person. Next card that came out is uh, from the Angel Answer deck. It says, Ask Your Angels. So I feel here, um, this is your angels wanting you to connect with them, to ask for help for inner guidance. Uh, they want you, they want to let you know that um, you know, they're there for your support. When you're going through some of these difficult times or, you know, transformation, um, you know, the, your angels are there. You just have to, you can talk out loud to them. You can pray, um, pray to your higher power, whatever you feel, um, you know, it's going to work for you. But this is your angels letting you know that they're there for you to support you. The next card is from the Chakra Oracle Wisdom deck. And this card is called Vanity. Okay, so this is, um, this is, comes from your throat chakra. And um, this card is about being your true authentic self. This is about not trying to be someone that you're not or getting distracted by other people who are trying to, uh, you know, trying to make you or want you to be someone that you're not. This is about you being your true authentic self, okay? Not being, you know, in vain or um, focused on vanity. The next card that came out is from the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards. The goddess, and I hope I pronounced this right, <clears throat> is, because this is a new deck for me, Nemi, Nematona, Nematona, and which is sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Okay, so your uh, goddesses are guiding you to try and um, connect with the divine here. And here we have ask your angels okay so um, the divine is trying to connect with you and they're trying to give you this message okay so the next card that came out is a message from Archangel Michael <clears throat> and his um, message for you is you're on the right path <clears throat> You've drawn this card as validation that your thoughts and actions are in the right direction toward achieving your life's purpose and inner peace. You've been carefully listening to your guidance from within, and the angels applaud you for following it faithfully. Although you may not clearly see what's up ahead, the angels want you to know that they're guiding and protecting you every step of the way. So possible meanings for this card 
And remember, all of them may not apply, so take the ones that do. It's a good time to begin a new project, start a business, pick up a book, or make a positive lifestyle change, listen to your inner guidance, even if others don't understand. And that, that kind of ties into that vanity card there. <clears throat> Trust that you'll be financially supported as you move forward with your plans. And yes, I'm already seeing that abundance here. And the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I can easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and the confidence to make healthful life changes. <clears throat> so a beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. And I'm going to take a sip of my drink there <clears throat> and then if you pick the third stack which is the feminine angel here are your messages first one out is positive thinking faith will bring you romance stay optimistic about your love life this is from the romance angels okay so I feel like you've had some some ups and downs in the past um, and so some of you, you know, may have had previous depression or sadness or this per somebody may have, um, you know, done you wrong, okay, betrayed you, you know, or it was a battle, like I said here. But this is your angel saying, you know, stay optimistic. Don't lose faith just because, you know, something didn't work out or connection or relationship didn't work out with someone else or things didn't go how you expected. Stay optimistic. Okay. Stay optimistic. Open your heart so that you can continue to attract that love back to you. The next card that came out um, is from the uh, Angel Answers deck. And this says within the next few weeks. Okay. So if there's something... Um, and I'm feeling if there's something you've been waiting for or there's some timeline that you've been waiting for, I feel here this is your angel saying that it's going to happen within the next few weeks. I feel like there's going to be some abundance. I feel that the timing for the abundance is within the next few weeks. Um, and I say that because you also got the goddess, goddess guidance oracle cards. And the goddess on this card is called Yamanya. And... The card is golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. So I definitely feel here you have some abundance or some great opportunities coming. I talked about the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Wands. Okay, so definitely feel here you have some abundance coming in for your life. The next card is from the Chakra Oracle Wisdom deck. And the card that you got um, is Grief. Okay, you actually had the Five of Cups, which is similar to Grief. Um, can be sadness, depression. And um, this card is also, you know, this is your heart chakra. And this card is also about feeling like you're in a pickle. And, um, you know, sometimes, you know, feeling that like you're in a pickle, feeling stuck, okay, because you may need to release some of that grief that you have in your heart, okay? So this is about letting go of the grief, healing, okay, and it will help you if you're feeling in stagnation or um, feeling stuck, um, the healing's going to help you get out of that. Okay, and I'm already seeing here, you know, I already saw the grief in the reading, but I feel here you're transforming to this empress where you're, you're basically manifesting all the things that you want in your life, including healing. The next card that came out um, is a message from Archangel Michael, and his message for you is called honor and trust your feelings <clears throat> and his message says 
Archangel Michael urges you to look inward and listen. For this card is a sign that your feelings are accurately tuned into the truth. Some of these feelings may be uncomfortable to face. Okay, so that could be why you're in a pickle. If you're conflicted, sit down with pen and paper and conduct an interview with your emotional self by asking, what are you feeling? Why? What would you like me to do? Your feelings will speak loudly and clearly if you keep an open mind and trust what you hear. Respect your inner voice as the powerful life force that connects you to the divine. Often God and the angels answer your prayers and offer you guidance through your physical and your emotional feelings. If you say, oh, it's just a feeling, you're ignoring vital divine assistance. This card reminds you to listen, really listen to your feelings. So possible meanings to this card, and remember all of them may not apply, so take the ones that do. It's time to admit that you're unhappy in a certain situation and take the appropriate corrective action. Someone's trying to talk you out of feeling a certain way. Stick to what you know as your barometer. And the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. Very, very nice message from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I feel good things for you, Cancer. So I hope um, you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. Again, you can check out my bracelets on IamAngelLove.com. It's in my description box. They're great Mother's Day gifts. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the evening or morning, and I'm sending you angel love.